guys, welcome back to our channel and today we're going to be reviewing a very, very special brand, a very luxurious brand, a very funny brand, Moschino, and this is Fresh Couture. Um, it's in the shape of a Windex bottle and as you can see right here, this is an actual Windex bottle and this is uh, Moschino Fresh Couture. Um, this one sprays just like that, but this does not. You have to take off the cap. But we're gonna get into the fragrance, and it's very funny, but surprisingly, it smells very good, right? Mm -hmm. Surprisingly, the packaging is very simple. It just has Moschino on the front, uh, the Tola, and yeah, just the sizing, and yeah, it's just like a really simple white box with like a very like white kind of suede-ish um, kind of grain to it. When you lift it, it just has gold right here. It does have some instructions as to how to use the perfume, as you have to twist the cap off and then spray the nozzle. Yeah, it is a pretty simplistic kind of a box, which is enjoyable, I guess, but I guess it's just there because it just makes more for the fun that you're gonna open in a minute, okay? But the bottle is a bunch of fun. Yeah, it just says Fresh Couture right here. It's like blue liquid. It has like instructions on the back. It says, works great at work on a date, to a formal event, and much more. Learn more at moschino.com. And it's like that right there. It says it right there. And yeah, it just it's just like this really beautiful like blue packaging, but very funny. And this is glass, in case you guys are wondering. It has like a very glass feel. And then this is the schnozzle. It does not spray, sadly. But this is a spray, and yeah. So we're gonna get into the smell of it right now, okay? So some of the notes this perfume contains are mandarin, bergamot, Ylang Ylang, Raspberry, Peony, Osmontis, Woods, Patchouli, and Ambrox. Okay guys, so three of the notes that stand out amongst the most is like this very accord of bergamot and mandarin. They just kind of fuse and make this very big citrus accord. We have raspberry and then we have peony. I'm going to get to the weakest of the notes, okay? So one of the weaker notes of the three is the raspberry. And it has like this very kind of raspberry musk, very reminiscent of like Dior Addict or Versace Bright Crystal. It's just like this very bright, very pink, very fruity, raspberry-ish kind of a musk with a musk tone in it. And yeah, it gives off at the end of the trail of the fragrance when it's finished off wearing off, it gives off like this very like fruity raspberry like lingering on your skin and it's just really pretty, it's very bright, it's very crisp and it just gives off like this very pink floating cloud around you. Not like sweet, but just very fruity and clean at the same time, almost like um, shampoo. Uh, very reminiscent of shampoo and very fresh, of course. Next, we have like these floral notes of the peony, the Chinese rose. And yeah, um, peony also has like this very clean, uh, slightly powdery, but just like a very pink kind of a smell to it. And it's just very powdery and very clean. Again, I don't know why I repeated that. <laughs> but yeah, um, it is fresh couture and it is in a Windex bottle, so you have to assume that it's just going to be a very clean scent. And yeah, Peony lends just kind of like this floral aspect to the fragrance. It's not very strong in there, but yeah, it just kind of laces through it. It smooths out the fragrance more than just having it be crisp the whole way. It just gives like this very smooth, slightly velvety, powdery, but again, very fresh kind of a smell. And yeah, um, I don't see what they would choose in another flower. This is like the best flower option they had, so Peony was a great option. Lastly, we have like the citrus accord of like bergamot and mandarin and probably other citruses that they didn't mention. But yeah, um, it is very citrus top heavy, but it is not like a spiky, acidic kind of a citrus. It's more so a smoother, more like lenient, very elegant kind of a citrus. And yeah, don't be fooled by the bottle. It is very like kitsch, it's very niche, and it's just like very different. But it's it's very like, it's a really nice perfume inside, and the citrus is very smooth and it's very well done, and I do enjoy that about it. And yeah, I could see no other note being put in there other than the citrus because it is fresh couture, and it's you have to evoke like, this very fresh kind of a feel with it. And I really enjoy that part about fresh couture. I don't know, it just it just gives off like this very clean like you could wear it like at work. It's it's very non-offensive. And citrus scents tends to be like that, and it's also, I think it's perfect for the gym, or when you're fresh out the shower like I am, because my hair is very wet, and I really wanted to film this. But yeah, it is just like a very fresh kind of perfume, and yeah, I enjoy that a lot. So, I'm going to talk about like, just the whole inspiration behind this real quick. Um, so, Jeremy Scott, like, really wanted to bring something very iconic, 
like such as the Windex bottle and just have like a very precious like luxurious juice in it and yeah it's just like the very dichotomy of like everything like from low class to very high class and it's just like it fuses both of them and that's like just very Moschino on its own have you ever seen like their ads before or like their other perfumes like I believe like Cheap and Chic which is one of their slogans it, it's like based off olive oil and it's just like this very like olive oil like from Popeye the Sailor Man I don't know if you guys saw that cartoon but yeah it, it just has like this very cartoonish feel to it but it has like a really nice scent to it also funny very nice scent very funny concept and then they have a new one called Toy and then there's this one and it's just I just love that Moschino tends to do that where they just use very funny very just kind of what people would consider low brow kind of packaging and bottles and advertisement but with a very high class juice and it just kind of merges the two classes and I really enjoy that that he actually did that with us but yeah um very pretty bottle so we're gonna get into the sillage and longevity all right guys in terms of sillage um it projects very close to the skin it's not very far it's just like very close to you in terms of longevity, the most of probably lasts four hours. I would carry it around with you. And as you guys can see, it's probably the size of my palm, my hand in general. I have very big hands. But yeah, um, just if you're a girl, carry it in your purse. If you're a guy, like, I don't know, carry it in your car. Maybe get samples of it. But yeah, it is a very light wear fragrance and it doesn't project very far. But that's not all that bad. I think it would be perfect for the summer. Alright guys, times I would see this being worn is probably at work or like somewhere not offensive like if you're going to school or you're going to the gym or you're going to work. Something where you don't really want to offend people and you just want to smell good and you just want to get a good laugh in general. But yeah, um, for me personally, I would wear this to the gym. I don't know, probably like right after I would shower and I would just spray this on like, I just came from the gym now and I just like shower and I sprayed this on and it smells really nice and it's just really clean and it's very fresh. Um, I've been wearing this probably for a week already and a lot of people have given me a lot of compliments like you smell so clean, you just smell like you just got out of the shower and it does give like, it does evoke like that kind of smell. If you guys seen the advertisement, it shows Linda Evangelista and she's just kind of like in the shower cleaning like a window and she's like, oh so fresh, so couture, it sparkles or whatever. And yeah, it just, it really does evoke that so I see why the ad was done like that in general. But yeah. So if you guys just really want something that's very clean, very fresh, very out the shower, and you just want to feel very clean and fresh, then get this. It's very nice, it's very pretty, and it's a very funny bottle, and I like the concept behind it. You can tell a lot of thought went into this, and I feel like a lot of brands aren't really this unique anymore. People can rag on it all they want, but I mean, come on, it's a Windex bottle with a really luxurious juice inside of it, and it's cute as hell. Alright guys. I'm Andrew, stay fresh, stay clean, smell good.